said you want to say something on this? Thank you, Honorable Speaker, and uh, thank you for your indulgence. I was uh, in the county of Kiambu with His Excellency the President, but I was listening in as I was driving from Kiambu. And it's indeed extremely sad that such good ambassadors of our country can leave our country without due recognition by the ministry charged with that responsibility. And to make matters worse, they go represent our country out there, they win, come back, and not a single officer in the ministry or the minister himself has the decency and the courtesy to receive them at the airport and even to recognize and appreciate the good work they have done for our country. And indeed, Honorable Speaker, I can hear the Honorable Shakir whispering that he is busy. And all ministers are busy. But when you are minister for sports, your core business is managing our sportsmen and women. And also those who are able differently, these are the people who we should support more. So that even as we speak about giving opportunities to people who live with disability or are able differently than us, it doesn't become just a matter of talking, but we are showing those others who have talents and skills in other areas that they are recognized, they are appreciated, and they are valued by their own country. Therefore, let me, on behalf of the government of Kenya, take this opportunity to profoundly apologize to these great sportsmen and women of our country. But even as I apologize on behalf of the government and the people of Kenya, the Minister, Honorable Speaker, must appear before this House and I will cause his appearance specifically to tell this House and to tell the people of Kenya why he lacks the time to attend to people who are representing our country and are good ambassadors of our country, Honorable Speaker. Because that is the biggest responsibility, Honorable Speaker, as you were saying yesterday. Members of Parliament, as the people's representatives, must hold ministers to account. You are not made a minister in this country to fly flags in the streets and push and bulldoze your way through traffic with Subaru escorts. You are made a minister to serve the people. And if you are made the minister of sports, you must serve sports and sportsmen and women of our country. The best ambassadors who represent us. Honorable Speaker, you can imagine the, the great feeling that we all feel when these athletes are competing out there and they are winning medals for us. We all come together as Kenyans. And the highest representation we should see in those studies, our ministers not carrying joy riders on trips abroad to accompany them to trips abroad and doing nothing. We must see them here receiving our number one ambassadors around the world. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, on behalf of not just this honorable members, the people of Kenya and the government of the Republic of Kenya, I must profoundly apologize to these great men and women who have ably represented our country, but also promise them we shall take the minister to account for his time in office, and he must appear before this House Honorable Speaker to tell us why he could not afford time not just for these athletes, but even for others, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I am, I am constrained to say more because there, there is more I could have said. <laughs> Allow me, Honorable Speaker, because I heard the President the other day saying there are people serving in government who he knows more about their ministries, departments, and agencies in their ministries more than they do. Let them know notice has been served by than, none other than the president, and we shall pick the queue from there, and it shall not be pleasant. 
I know you have the copyright of noisy and messy, Honorable Speaker. I will not use those words. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Majority.